Hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to talk about function now. Uh, what is this function? Uh, in math, you may learn like x squared, maybe pi times r squared. This is they are all functions, right? Well, in computer science, function is pretty much the same as the math function. You can def whatever function you want. So uh, let's take a look on the example. So uh, whatever you want to define the function, the keyword that we are going to use is def, which is def, uh, define, maybe. Uh, say def, maybe double. And then double is your function name here. And you can see uh, it, if you use a win IDE, the, the color will change. And I follow that it is it is a square. A square, this is where you put your parameters in. By parameters we mean say because this function we are going to use double that is we want to give a num number into uh, the calculation and then double it. So here the your parameter is a number, right? It's a num. You can give whatever name maybe n or num or x or y. It doesn't matter. It's just a variable name that you are going to use it in the later on. So let's give it num because I like num. So def num, so you want to double it, right? You want to double it, so say num times equal to two, then you have double it, right? So uh, and after you do your function, if you want to return anything, by return we means you want to get a result, then we have to have a keyword returns here. Okay, so return num, and now it is done. And as I said before, this this um, area is where you have your programming. And if you define a function, you are just defining a function. It's like a blueprint of a, maybe a machine. You are not doing anything, but you just have a blueprint, right? So if you want to use it, you have to call it. By call it, how do you call it? So let's run this one. So now we have already run it. And if you want to call it, you have to call the function name double and the parameter name the parameter name is uh, the parameter not parameter name uh, and the parameter the thing that you want to double so three double three is six double two you give you four and double maybe ten ten give you twenty okay so this is a really simple function now we are getting to a more complicated one uh, say depth, mm, maybe area. We want to get the area of a circle. So R is your radiant. So so uh, so we should have area equal to pi, which for short we have 3.14 times R, and then times R again because it's R square, right? So and then return area. Okay. So now let's run it because now you are already designed a function and you just write it you haven't haven't run it yet so let's see so uh, I want to run it so how we call it function name and then your input parameters say uh, radiance is equal to three uh, equal to five then we can get the answer really fancy eh? say a larger number uh, no, no. Uh, random numbers and you calculate it right away it's really fancy right you can do it for your math course so um, just now we see some uh, functions that has a uh, single parameters now we are going to look at more complicated ones that you have multiple parameters say that um, we can have addition okay addition takes two parameters and we want to add an, add an up so first parameter we call it x maybe uh, now we, the next one we call it y you can have whatever uh, variable name here it just it doesn't matter you can have z or maybe h uh, but because we all get used to use x and y in math so we're going to get use x and y and after your function remember to add a column uh, afterwards so when you when when you are defining a function first you have a keyword def is short for define 
and then your uh, function name that uh, the function name that you need to call it later on and then a bracket inside a bracket is your parameters you can have multiple parameters here you have one parameter is called num and here we can ha we have a parameter called r and now we, here we have two parameters first parameter is called x and the second parameter is called y the way you separate parameter, parameter is using a comma here you see that x comma y you cannot if you don't use it you give it error you, um, so it, it, if you see here there is a red line here that means a syntax error so it, it doesn't work uh, so we have we, we need to have a, a comma at, uh, to separate parameters so now, so now we can have we have two parameters and we can have three as well doesn't matter okay? so after um, after your name and your bracket you have you, you should have a column later on then you will tell Python that inside this part it is your function so we want to have a result right so say as result equal to x plus y and then return x plus uh, return result okay or oh, remember uh, Python is a really special programming language and is using identity it is identification oriented so if you have identification inside this staff then uh, you, you will tell Python that this part belongs to this part okay so you see this part is belong to this definition but this part is not because this is not identified for that right so whenever they are they, uh, they don't have a uh, identification then the uh, identification is done okay so these two expression is belong to this block this block and this two is belong to this block and this two is belong to this block and if you have say maybe a print hello here this one doesn't belong to anything because it is not ident to uh, this function area it's not but if I ident it uh, use a tab uh, sorry if I put it here uh, and then this one now it is belong to area because it is identified by ident so identification is kind of like a identification identification for uh, you belong to a function or not okay so remember that uh, I, I see a lot of students making mistakes on this one okay now we build our function and let's see what happens run addition we uh, pass up, we need to pass up two parameters so first first one three and second one maybe two and you give you result five right it's cool eh um, so what if you are pa you pass up only one parameter say five you give an error because this function is defined for two parameters so if you pass one you will assume that your input is you you have two inputs so if you only have one input it doesn't work okay so you give you an error type error that addition missing one require uh, argument argument is parameter they are, they, call, they are the same okay so uh, what if you have more than that say five six seven what happened again addition is take only one two per, uh, arguments but now it is taking three so it doesn't work as well so for the parameters or arguments in your bracket side inside your bracket if you have two whenever you're calling the you are calling the function you should have two okay 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 now let's uh, do some simple exercise so uh, when you're defining a function in math say fx equal to x squared what is f3 it's 9 right and this one is 25 so how do you define the function that calculate x squared in python so um, it's fairly easy i think you will know that so that keyword and then uh, function square so 
infer from it is one because you you only want to calculate x square, right? So we can have return x times x. Okay, it give you x square. It will return you x square. Let's test it. So I say square thirty, give it nine. Okay, square ten, give it a hundred. Okay, so that's how you define the function in Python. All right, so uh, this is the same as the math. So, all right, there is a fill in the blanks functions. So, what is the keyword? So, uh, in Python that you you use, uh, you if you want to define a function, it's DF, right? DF, and then DF cannot be used as a variable name. Over. So let's try it. So maybe you have DAF equal to three. You give it an error. It's a syntax error because DAF is a, it has a is special naming, uh, is special meanings. So you cannot uh, assign something called DAF. You cannot have a variable name called DAF. Okay. And the return statement will end the function. So here, say when you, whenever you add it, you have a return statement. That means you add it, and then you want to uh, get the result. And in some case, you you don't need to uh, get a return. Say if you want to only just doing something, and do, you don't need a result. So you 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 can you can you can have no res no return in a de defined function. But what if say I have that function? Uh, say this one, def addition x and y, and then I, I delete the return function and let's see what happens. So if I have addition 3, 2, what you will get? You get nothing because you don't have a return statement. That means I don't need a result and I want I don't get the result. So if you don't have a return statement, you get give you nothing. Okay? So but if I have return result run again give a 5 right and there's one more common mistakes that a lot of students make that is mess up return and print so now uh, so you return something you can uh, you can actually assign the value to the value you return so I, ha I can have maybe uh, say x equal to addition Five, six, maybe. Sorry. I, I mean, so here is a bad example. Addition uh, is your variable name, right? Here, a variable name, addition. But here I'm missing an i. So whenever you are calling a function, the name should be exactly the same. Exactly. So here. Okay? Now there's. Now we have x, x equal to 11 because we assign uh, the result that get from the addition that is our function and then we assign the value to x. So now x is 11 now. So what if I have, ex instead of return, I have a print, print result. So let's run it and see what happens. Sorry, uh, print should have a uh, print statement should have a bracket. Uh, this is the difference between Python two point two point seven and uh, Python three point zero. To uh, in in the version Python three point zero, they start to use a uh, bracket. So, okay, uh, don't forget the bracket. Okay, so now print result. So, let's say addition three four. Sorry, again, you should have you. It should be exactly the same addition three, four, and it give you seven. But this seven is different from what you get before because this one is you getting this seven from print statement, but not the return statement. So what do you mean? So because remember the last example that we you, we assign x equal to addition three. Four, right? And you should have x equal to x equal to seven, right? Okay. But now x is equal to nothing because this result seven is just a print statement. So 
it is not that you get from the return statement. Return statement, well, let's think of example. Say, here you are doing a function. Print statement is kind of like you shout it out. You say, uh, your professor give you an assignment, and you do it, and you finish it, and shout out the result. That is what print does. But return is kind of like you return the, the assignment to the professor and ask him, ask him or her to mark it. That's a return statement. So if you only shout it out, you don't give up, you don't give anything to your professor. So your professor don't have anything to mark up. So so here, x is nothing. It's equal to noun. Okay, remember the difference. In this part, a lot of students uh, mess up these two. So let's call it addition one, and uh, we can have addition two, and we'll see the difference. Addition two. Result. So, addition one, three, four, is seven. So we have x equal to addition one, three, four, Okay. Now we can we have addition two, three, four. Again. Then x equal to addition two, three, four. You see that when you're calling this function x, whenever you're doing assignment, you're calling this function, and you a Python will execute the right part first, and you give a seven here. But in here, you don't have it because in addition one, this one, you have a print statement that is whenever you run it, you print it. But if you're doing an assignment, here you will just give you a result of x. So x is equal to 7. Okay. But if this one is the one that use, x is equal to nothing. Alright? Get the difference? So this is the end of the uh, function part.